Hey! Look what the Ruralas found! Rifles! Two Indians with his mules. Now, how would two Indians find 100 rifles, huh? They were skinned alive. Slowly. But they wouldn't say. Nice day, Verdugo. Indeed it is, Mr. Grant. Hello. My name's Grimes. Uh, Stephen Grimes. Oh, that's... That's nice, mighty nice. Well, <laughs> you know, fellow Americans. And uh, what's a nice fellow like you doing in a place like this? I'm with Southern Pacific. We run the railroads here. Then uh, you really are right with that general, ain't you? Look, Lidecker, what's the point of all this? If you don't tell him what he wants to know, he'll have you killed. Well, maybe you could put a good word in for us. <laughs> you get the hell out of here. And tell him something. Anything. <laughs> $6,000 not worth dying for. And he's just going to let us go, is that right? Why don't you go away and stop bothering us? Look. If he has you shot, it'll create terrible problems. It'll be a terrible thing for all of us. Who the hell will? For us, uh, for the railroad. For both. The way relations are between the United States and Mexico. Well, you know. Look, we don't want to talk to you. You understand? We don't want to talk to you. Hey, hey, wait a minute, Joe. Wait a minute. Now, he's got the rifles and he's got us, too. What do we got to lose, huh? Tell you what you do. You go tell that general I want to see him. What about my men? How are they progressing? Well, sir, they fight well. They train well. They don't seem to take too naturally to the drill. Well, the parades will come later. As long as they can fight. Sit down. Sit down. What disturbs you? The rifles, sir. Someone is arming the yakis. If they get hold of any more guns, you can have the tiger by its tail. The yakis do not have the rifles. I do. Yes, sir. At the moment, you do. Oh, Clemmy. You worry me. That was my intent, sir. No. I mean, you worry me. Oh? Yes, you... You seem afraid. Of what? I don't know. Perhaps if you return to Mexico City... I would prefer nothing more than that, sir, if my orders could be trained. You know that I don't need you. But you see, sir... We Germans are here to advise, so we advise. Oh, yes. And tell me, what perfect piece of advice have you this time? Finish off the Yankees as quickly as possible before more guns come through. I know that, don't I? Of course you do. Then send them south to the mahogany forest and sell them to the wood merchants. No, it isn't worth it. The prices are too low. I have to feed them, send some of my men with them. By the time we sell one, the price will be lower than the price of a cow. Then kill them all. That is your advice. That is my advice, sir. Very good. <laughs> so all the time, eh? All the time, the $6,000 was right there in my front yard, eh? <laughs> Incredible. Well, I'll take him back now, General. That's the deal, right? Now, wait. Wait. Tell me something. Where are the other rifles? I don't know. 
what you're talking about. When do they arrive? Answer the question, Indian. You got them all. That is not the answer. There ain't no more guns. How do you know that? You know, Lidecker, as I told you before, I think you're part of it. I ain't a part of anything. This man stole $6,000, and anybody know for that amount of money there can't be no more guns. You refuse to answer, eh? Look, there ain't no more damn guns. Wait, what? Too bad, gentlemen. Sargento Paredes! Tráete dos soldados y llévatelos. Sí, señor. Carlos, Manuel, llévesanos. Rápido. Vamos, señor. Mañana al amanecer me los fusila. De acuerdo, señor, a la orden. Put it all at me. Looks like they're going to shoot us. Verdugo. I suggested that if they told you about the money, You'd let them go. Grimes, you run the railroad. I run the state of Sonora, and don't you ever forget it. Así que se han robado ustedes tres gallinas. Porque tenemos hambre. Es que lo voy a hacer fusilar los dos ahora mismo, ¿eh? ¿Y tú? ¿Y qué, qué tienes que decir tú? Por favor, Genaro, es que tenemos hambre. Llevamos mis hermanos y yo una semana sin comer y mi madre está... Pues a mí no me interesa, los voy a hacer fusilar a los dos. Señor, señor, señor general, le ruego que le no me castigue. Y al paredón se los lleva. Por favor, general. No, señor. Ah. ¿Y aquí qué pasó? ¡Arma! ¡Prepárense para cargar! ¡Apunten! ¡Fuego! I think our string is done run out. The hell it has. We're going to get out of this. Yeah? Yeah. Yeah. Well, there's nothing to it. A big giant hand is going to reach in here and pick us up and take us away and put us down someplace right in the middle of a whole bunch of women and whiskey. Well, I ain't laughing neither. That ain't funny at all. Stay out of other people's business. That's what I always said, and that's what I always done. But look at me now, smart line decker. Hung up on a fence with a bunch of scruffy Indians. Well, that's too bad about you. I mean, your number's coming up over there, and it's just too damn bad. You know why? No, I don't know why. Why? Because you'd have been a hell of a lawman. You're damn right. Because you don't care about nothing or nobody, just like all them big boys with the badges. What do you know about badges? You're just a pissy ant, border half breed. I know a lot about it. I know all about them small town barber shop hair cutting sheriffs. I know all about them big town, big belly billy club swinging policemen from St. Louis. To... You don't know nothing. The hell I don't. They look you up and down, and you're guilty. You don't get no trial, just like we ain't gonna get one now. Because them guys over there, they don't care about nothing or nobody. Just like you. 
That's why you'd have been so good with the past. Washington's going to react very badly to this. What are they going to do? Send a note saying where is a black policeman? And then what? They'll ask questions. They're going to ask my company a great many questions. And they will get answers, I'm sure. Your company cares for its trains, not for two gringos that disappear in Mexico. Vamos, va, arriba, vamos, vamos ya. puede salvar el alma. Acompáñalos. My sons, allow me to help you. Look, we ain't no damn sons of yours. There's probably more than one scattered around here someplace. We understand human failings. We are human. Make yourselves ready to die in peace and love. Why don't you talk to Verdugo about some of that peace and love instead of trying to get somebody ready to die? That's right. Ain't no man ever died ready for it. I want you to go with love in your heart. I want you to go to hell. Allow me to hold your confession. Whatever you got in that book, just put me down for it. Hi, Decker. What? I'm sorry you got mixed up in that. You ain't half as sorry as me. 